All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to day number 41 of Autodesk Fusion. Today I'm making some pieces um, found in activity 125. Uh, just really quickly, I'm going to go through these pieces and how to build them. Just in case you're stuck, I think this is probably going to be the last video where I do a step-by-step -step instruction on a parts found in Inventor. And instead, I'm just going to kind of push you to, to do these on your own. So I'm just, gonna, I'm just gonna load this in as a canvas, so that way I have my drawing file in front of me, and you can see what we're making. Do is I'm just gonna import import as a canvas, stretch it, flip it, and then here we go. <coughs> Excuse me, it is allergy season in full effect. All right, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build this part from the bottom up to the top using a set of extrusions and then I'm gonna dimension along the way. So what I'm gonna do is, since I'm building from the bottom, I'm going to use this plane, uh, not the one in front of me closest, because that would build the product towards us rather than build it up. So what I notice is, um, I didn't mean to do that yet, because I need to change my dimensions. So document settings, click on this, drop down, click on units, change active units to inches. Alrighty, now let's go back to my sketch. Alrighty, now the base of my object has a diameter of 1.25 inches. So I'm just going to go ahead and make that base to be 1.25 inches. Now it has a height here in the bottom of 0.5 inches. So I'm going to click extrude, bring this up half an inch, then click OK. Now we have a, a square piece here that's got a, uh, looks like a one half by one half. And here's how I know that. We know that the center to this outside edge is 0.25 inches. So that means all the way across, it's going to be half an inch. So I'm gonna create sketch, click on this, click on rectangle. And then over here on the right side, we're gonna do a center rectangle. And that's because it allows my uh, rectangle to be built from the origin point or wherever I click it. So it's gonna be half inch by half inch. So I'm gonna type in 0 0.5, tab 0 0.5. Kind of locks it in nice and good. Hit finish sketch. Now, if you're curious on how I'm rotating so easily, what I'm doing is holding down the shift key and the mouse wheel. And you notice my cursor changes into a uh, two dimensional orbital uh, pattern. And so that allows me to move around freely. I'm gonna go ahead and extrude this center part up. How far? Well, here's where we gotta do a little bit of math, but I'm gonna make a Fusion do this math for me. We know my total height is 2.5 inches. However, uh, 0.25 of that is this top piece and 0.5 is this bottom piece. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do 2.5 minus 0.5 minus 0.25 and it just did all that math for me you can either do mental math or plug and chug and let invent or sorry let fusion do the job for you all right this last piece is going to be another circle so from the center we got uh, 1.25 is our diameter hit finish sketch now we're going to extrude both of these pieces up it looks like to be a quarter inch all righty, we're looking okay so far. The only thing I need to do now is to build in these center holes, which I'm going to cut through. So I'm gonna click on create a new sketch on this face. Now I'm gonna do this in a particular way, that way the dimensions don't bite me in the end. So we know that this circle, I'm gonna assume it's 0.25 inches. And the, uh, the distance between the bottom, he, he, bottom of this line right here to the center of the circle is half an inch. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit the D key on my keyboard. I'm gonna click on the center of that circle and the bottom of that line. And we're gonna go ahead and dimension this to one half. I'm gonna go ahead and do the next thing with the next circle. So it's gonna be 0 0.25, 0 0.25. There we go. I'm gonna hit the D key, click on the center of this circle to this circle to be 0 0.5 inches as well. Almost done. We're going to hit circle and we're going to do one more circle. So 0 0.25. Hit the D key, dimension the center of the circle to the center of the circle to be 
0 0.5 inches. All right, from there, well, I believe we're gonna hit finish sketch. Now we're going to extrude. So the profiles that we're gonna extrude, we have to click on this time. So we're gonna click on this, two, and three. I'm gonna bring drag those back. It doesn't really matter how far, as long as we go all the way through. And then we're gonna make those as cuts. Click OK, and we are done with our part. Now, what I'm gonna do is, um, I'm gonna go ahead and delete this canvas. I'm going to take on, maybe say, tell that canvas to go away. And I'm gonna import the next one because what we're gonna do is instead of uh, just restarting from scratch, we're just gonna make edits to this one for that next part. So we'll go to canvas and I'm gonna find that next part. And what they want us to do is, instead of cutting all the way through, how can we use what we already have here? And so here's what I'm gonna do. I wanna talk about this timeline down here. If there's something that you don't want or want to edit that's been in the timeline, you can find it down here. So if I wanna edit these extrusions, what I'm gonna do then is I'm gonna right click, hit delete, and then go back to these sketches. Now I need to uh, sometimes redefine a sketch or edit a sketch depending on how it's been used. And so what I'm gonna do is make some uh, edits here. So I'm gonna draw a line all the way down and hit escape. I'm gonna click on that line I just drew and right click. I'm gonna make it a construction. I'm oh, sorry, that's not gonna be construction. We're gonna trim, we're gonna cut up some pieces here. And what I'm gonna need is just three sets of semicircles right here. Because what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to revolve this sketch. So let, let us edit, oh, we have to redefine the sketch plane. So that, that, that sketch kind of disappeared. It, it doesn't know where to go. So we have to redefine that sketch plane and we're gonna redefine it on this face. Click OK, and then uh, boom, there is my sketch. Just to make sure we can see it, you know, there we go. All right, how did I pull that up? Under my sketches, you can make your sketches invisible or visible by clicking on these. So we couldn't see it, now we can. What we're gonna do is we're gonna create a revolve of these three along the center line right here. Cut, okay, and there we go. So what we've just done is we've changed those three cut through holes and instead made them rounded off kind of dimples. Alrighty guys, that's gonna be it for this video. And if you got any questions, let me know. If not, I'll see you in the next one. Adios.